Hello and welcome to the Juniper Network's video demo on Junos Pulse. This is Junos Pulse for iPhone. This is Apple iPhone iOS 4. This is the beta build running the Junos Pulse application from Juniper Networks. Junos Pulse is a Layer 3 VPN for the iPhone. It is an SSL VPN and terminates on the Pulse gateway, most well known as the SSL VPN or SA appliance. Here's the configuration. Most ideal with supporting certificate authentication. Also support a variety of password auth and web-based auth. So a lot of the customizable auth can work as well. Two-factor, all sorts of things. Look at some of the settings here and now we'll connect. We are connecting over Wi-Fi here. You'll notice I don't currently have an active data plan. That's all right. This works just the same in remote office all the way, thousand miles away from the data center. Here we'll pull up some of the business apps. This is just kind of a hodgepodge that we've been playing with and kind of threw on here. Um, we'll take you through a couple of these today. So a lot of people have been asking, so we'll take a check, take a look here at uh, Citrix. Check this out a little bit here. So here's the UI. You can manage some of the profiles here. They did have one feature which allows passwords to be disabled by default, which is uh, saving passwords. That's pretty neat, but it would be great if they supported some uh, pass through auth and uh, some other functionality, maybe cert, cert based auth or something like that. Go ahead and log in here. So this is running over the Pulse VPN to the gateway and we're accessing our Acme Gizmo data center. So here you say we've got a Zen app web interface up and running and uh, basically connected using Citrix receiver. You'll see our apps and our settings in here. Go through. There's uh, definitely a lot of tweaking that can be done with this. It's just a close up of the version information. So go ahead and fire up an app. Now these are you know Windows desktop applications being run on the iPhone using Citrix. So if, for anyone who's familiar with Citrix, it's pretty much should uh, look identical to what you see and work with every day. Uh, this is a little bit different size for the screen. I'd imagine with the iPad it, it's a little bit more usable, but uh, right now we have Pulse out for the iPhone. So here I've just got the calculator app and obviously it's your basic Windows calculator app. So I'm not gonna bore you with any of this stuff, but you'll see here, you know, keyboard and some of the controls and command keys and things like that. Uh, you can also rotate the screen and pinch zoom and things like that. So you can pull up specific apps or an entire desktop and, you know, from the desktop you can launch other applications in some cases and uh, things like that. So that's basically Citrix Receiver over Pulse on iPhone. So pretty straightforward. You can also refresh and, and everything's going over the Layer 3 VPN to the data center. Some different settings here. Okay. So let's take a look at Newest thing from WiseTerm, this is Pocket Cloud supporting VMware VDI. So this is uh, again Wise, W-Y-S-E. They're a thin app, thin terminal company for a long time now and uh, have now released, uh, I believe this is the first VMware VDI uh, browser or application for the iPhone. So uh, you can turn on view mode or you can use RDP and a few other protocols that they also support. They don't yet support PC over IP, so we are using R R RDP for this demo. But my VMware View 4 infrastructure does support PC over IP. So, and it supports a variety of others. Um, variety of settings here, you can go through and set up different profiles. I've got one for RDP and one for VMware View. 
go ahead and connect here. Again, you see at the top, we are running the Pulse VPN. So uh, this is going to load a remote desktop, a virtual desktop. Um, we're actually pre-provisioning the desktops from a template. So it just basically activates the desktop for the user. And this is his first time logging in, essentially. Uh, for demo purposes, I just have the desktops destroyed and I provision a new clone from the template. But, you know, there's a variety of ways you could deploy VMware View, of course. And for that matter, Citrix Zen, uh, Zen Desktop as well. Uh, look at some of the options here. The keyboard uh, also has a lot of the control keys and had to use one earlier to do a control C from a ping window I left open. So that's pretty interesting. It's a little bit difficult to work with on such a small screen, but for form fit applications or something simple to reboot a server maybe, uh, I could see a lot of IT folks could definitely leverage this. So we do kind of, you know, there's no real centering, so you kind of have to scroll around a little bit. But otherwise, not too bad. Really good quality. Has some uh, built-in protection from Flash and things like that. So has really good error messages too. Uh, you know, if there's no sessions available and things like that. Once again, this is the Pocket Cloud app from Wise Technology. You can get it in the App Store. Okay, now we'll take a look at Easy Desktop. This is basically an RDP type of utility. Um, basically, you can configure different profiles here. You can sort them and uh, move them around and things like that. Um, here's some information. There's quite a few sample configs and uh, some good guidelines in here about how to set it up if you're not familiar with RDP. But basically, uh, go through here and plug in all your settings. Um, does not support VDI, just to RDP. This is uh, actually a free app, I think. So we'll go ahead and establish the connection here. And you'll see you can authenticate. I didn't do the saved password on this one, so just get a prompt. But basically pretty simple. So that's Easy Desktop. And uh, go ahead and take a look at one more here. This is Acrobits Soft. Phone. This is basically a voice over IP phone. It's a SIP phone and it connects over the VPN to our data center in California and connects there, terminates to a Trickbox, a Trickbox, a SIP server essentially, uh, which is actually a VM in itself. It's a PBX. Uh, so we're doing layer three to the PBX and the soft phone just connects over it. Uh, we haven't really tricked anything out yet, but there's lots of contacts and things that can be uh, synchronized through here. Um, I don't actually have anyone to call right now, so I'm just calling myself. But there's a few test calls, and there's a lot of functionality built into this application. Me and my friend Denzel were playing with it quite extensively the other day. Uh, supports speakerphone. It even supports Bluetooth, which is really slick. Um, so there's quite a few options. It's really a full-fledged SIP client. Uh, it's pretty much got everything you can think of. So here's just some of the settings, preferences. There's all the login information for the SIP server. And uh, codecs and things like that. Quality is uh, about as good as any other type of phone call, especially a, a VoIP phone. Um, the one thing we noticed, we actually did a call where we had a hard phone running over a layer three site-to-site -site VPN, and we also had this soft phone running over the SSL VPN via Pulse uh, from the iPhone. And this phone was actually getting better quality and less latency than the actual desktop phone. So I thought that was very impressive here and definitely a lot of information out there about how SLVPN supports SIP. So once again, all this was brought to you by the power of Juno's Pulse. So Layer 3 VPN for the iPhone. Check it out. Here's all the settings here, all the geeky stuff. So I won't bore you guys with that. 
So that concludes the video demo. Please visit us on the web at www.juniper.net.